up in the air is our next topic, so it's all about drones. So if you're walking through the halls of EVA this year, you know, you're gonna see drones everywhere. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to have something special over here. And, and Derek Shong is over here, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the ghost drones. Exactly. So, well, first of all, thank you so much for coming over. I know it's just super busy over Welcome. here. You're welcome, yes. Um, so what, what, what's, what's new? What's, what's cool about First of all, it looks different. Yeah. I can tell you that already. Yeah. So your company is Ehang. 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 Yes. So tell us a little bit about the company and what you guys are doing in general. Sure. So we are actually a Chinese company, you know, Chinese startup, like started about two years ago. But we were kind of the very first, I mean, you know, but in our DNA, we were kind of like, a, you know, we go global very early stage. So yeah. back in 2014, actually, uh, we have this idea. So, of, you know, we create this like the ghost drone, which is the very first smartphone controlled, fully smartphone controlled drone. And we went to Indiegogo for a crowdfunding campaign. I so remember that one. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so that's how we started. Yeah. And uh, so we managed to raise about 850,000 US dollars on the Indigo crowdfunding platform. So that was kind of like a decent. So we are getting thousands of orders from customers around the world. We're getting tons of support. So that's how we started. So after we got, you know, crowdfunded, we are getting more, you know, money and from reputable angel investors and venture capitalists. Yeah. So we're, you know, raised up in total about like 52 million US dollars Holy in the past like two years. Wow. So that's how we grow the team. So we start from a team of four people. Yeah. And now we have like, you know, like more than a uh, hundred engineers. Holy. And also we have like people around the world working. So we, we just set up a new office here in Germany in Dusseldorf. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we also have offices in Silicon Valley. But we are, the headquarters are still based in Guangzhou, Beijing, okay. Shanghai. Yeah, we are everywhere basically. So this product today, um, you know, I brought it here. It's actually already, uh, you know, um, you know, on the shelf for the Best Buy in the States. You oh, so there you basically go. you can, you know, you can see this Ghost Drone 2 uh, in over, you know, hand of stores of, of the Best Buy stores yeah. in the States. Yeah. So this is the improved version of the crowdfunding, uh, you know, version two years ago. It's so tell us a little bit yeah. about wh what's unique about it. I can already see this camera with the gimbal up here. Yeah. Um, sure. I think the most significant difference compared to other drones that you can see is actually this VR goggle. Um, you know, I'm holding right now. Yeah. So most of the drones, you know, all these kind of like first person view VR stuff are for those traditional, really professional drone racers. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so people wear this. So you see what the drone is seeing in the air. So that's something really cool. But because you need to, you know, but that really requires a highly kind of, you know, skill set. So we decided to do a different thing. So we decided to just use a smartphone to control the drone at the same time to make it really easy. Yeah. So the, at the same time, our customers can just wear the goggle and see what happens. So we are the very first company to introduce this super consumer friendly drone with the VR. And definitely mention, you know, not, you know, not forget to mention this, like the gesture based control, which we call it right. the avatar mode. Okay. Meaning that, you know, if I tilt my phone into this way, it's going to fly forward. Backward, left, Interesting. right. If I'm turning left, the drone's gonna turn left. I mean, <laughs> in, in there, yeah. So, the combination of these two make the whole, you know, uh, piloting experience is incredibly easy and uh, also immersive. So, so what are the signals that you're transmitting? Is it a PAL signal that you're using? Yeah, that as can you be can digital, see, right? there's a, no. So, so as you can see, there are two antennas. Basically, yeah. uh, the way you transmit the signal is that you're using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi digital signal between your phone and the drone. Yeah. Right, no, no, the phone and the goggle. Okay. Right, so using Wi-Fi. So because they are together, Wi-Fi, you know, like 100 meter, that's fine. So phone and the drone, uh, the phone and the goggle are always together. That's pretty then cool. Then the goggle is gonna transmit the digital signal into analog. Yeah, So as exactly. you can see here, 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's gonna last for like 1,000 meters. Right. And then for the video signal, we use another channel, 5.8 gigahertz. So you also can you can also see this like a little antenna here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is uh, you know that's a receiver. So these two are using 5.8 gigahertz. Make sure, and because it's analog, 
so it means there's no latency. Right. It means your image is not gonna stuck there, right? So, yeah. so you can always make sure that you know you're not hitting on something. And right. Yeah. So and, and why is it called a ghost drone? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. So we really didn't. I mean, in the very beginning, we didn't really think a lot about it because we're. You know, we start from scratch, so yeah. we are a small team, and uh, we're thinking, just thinking about, you know, name the drone something cool, and uh, because the drone normally kind of, you know, kind of like a, f like a hot rain goes, you know, especially in the dark night, yeah. when it's hovered there and fly there, and someone, you know, someone actually just uh you know like just put some clothes on a drone and during halloween <laughs> so it feels like a ghost so that's how we're you know where we got a uh, the idea for the names um yeah. let, let's talk a little bit about specs well, first of all i think it's absolutely amazing yeah, yeah. what you're doing over here and also when i look at the design of your of your headset here yeah um this this, this is quite unique and then and, and very solid and study um, tell us a little bit about, about the specs. So, um, yeah, like how what about, about, the, about the flight time of yeah. the drone? So, like most of the consumer drone today, so uh, we have this plug-in battery that's super easy to, you know, like plug in and out. Oh, nice. So, you can get multiple batteries. So, but basically, you can fly up to 25 minutes. Okay. Okay, so that's like the top of the industry standard very cool yeah so but the good thing is that because it's so easy to plug in and out so right. you can just purchase multiple you know when right. it's running out so you just get another one maybe four you can be able to fly more than you know like more more than almost two hours so that's something really cool and also you'll be able to so we have this like a small you know led yeah, screen yeah, here yeah. so you'll be able to see the house level let me just show it into this camera yeah, here hold on sure. a second there we go so there you can see that little LED display yeah. in front yeah. of the battery pack. So this is where I can also check now we're at 97% of the capacity yes. of the battery. Yeah. If you press the button and just press the button, yeah. So now you're going to see the voltage on each cell. Oh, so wow. And also you'll be able to oh, see true that. How, how many cycles you have already been charged. Uh, Interesting. Also the I house love level, it. The house level. So this is something really important because after you know 50 times the charges, right? The, the battery normally like just goes slower and slow. Yeah, that's kind of so hard. Really to know that. It's kind of yeah. hard to focus for the camera because yeah. it's like super slow. But just trust me, guys. You can see, we, seriously. There are four cells in there. You can see each and every uh, the voltage of each and every cell. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are the only. We're, we're. I'm pretty I've sure that we're the only one. I've never seen anything like yeah. this before. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, it's that's like awesome. So, flight time around 25 minutes yes. on one battery pack. What about the camera that you're using there? So the camera we use here is a 4K camera. Nice. Uh, it's a 4K camera that we made, you know, specially designed for aerial filming. Yeah. So, this is something that you can. So basically. So you can see this there, there yeah. on the so that the, the, the viewers can watch this. Yes. Yes. Here. Yeah. So basically, if you plug in a battery, okay. So, yeah. So if you plug in the battery, so basically through the goggle, you'll be able to receive real-time images. Yeah. And but actually, the 4K, you know, the 4K video footage are stored here. So there is. Interesting. That's a micro SD card. That's a micro SD card. <laughs> yes. So it's stored there, and it, this camera comes with a 3D access gimbal. Oh so yeah, I can tell. So it means that you know, no matter how very you shake cool. it. The image you, you can see is like very, very stable, no matter how you shake it. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Very cool. That's especially for the aero filming, basically. Yeah. So you have a couple of, that, that's your latest model right yes, now? Yes, this is the latest model, and this is the model that we're bringing to Europe. Okay. Right now, yeah, because so we just passed all the certificate, you know, all those like approvals. Well, fantastic. Is, yeah. So you, you you just said you just opened up a, an office in Düsseldorf, yes. which makes sense. It's a, it's the biggest Asian community also yeah, in Düsseldorf. Exactly, right? yeah. It's, it's also good decent uh, Japanese food. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, I love to come to this. I, I, I'm, based in, I'm based in Taipei. Oh. So I'm also used to. Okay, yeah, that's the biggest. Constantly <laughs> yeah, that's Asian actually food. the biggest Japanese community outside Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, well, tell us a little bit about when it's going to be available on the market. What about the pricing yeah. of it? Sure. So the pricing is uh, nine, 
998 euro. Okay. And it's going to be available on the market, uh, basically in Europe. You know, in the next couple of weeks. And currently, you can you can come to our website. Yeah. Which is ehang.com. E H A N G.com. Okay. And check out all the product features and, and also just show how the this product. Again you know, so that they can. Oh, yeah. Here, here we here, go. Yes. And they, also they can see the name. Yes. Yes. They can see the name over there. And then it's ehang.com. E, yes. Ehang.com. E H A N G.com. There we so go. definitely check out all the you know we also have some really awesome product uh, videos over there. Oh, I'm pretty sure about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, that looks amazing, and I'm also yeah. amazed because I know I know a bunch of uh, headsets uh, because some friends are doing copter racing. Yeah, and um, I'm, I'm really surprised by um, by this build quality here and by the design of it. And yeah, it's really for the consumers. And uh, and another thing, you know, I think wanna you know wanna mention a little bit is that you know because for drone customers, it's really easy for people to crash drones, right? Oh yeah, it's like the always the most popular topic, you know, <laughs> on the web, right? So we decided to give European customer this one year hassle-free warranty, meaning that throughout the year, we're gonna take care of whatever, you know, if you lost the drone, let's say, or you crash the drone, even though you, on purpose, you hit the drone on the wall, you crash it on purpose, we're gonna take care of it for free. Wow. So that's really something that no one has ever done this before. It's gonna, so. You gotta be kidding me. Exactly, so because we believe that, you know, most of the 99% of the crashes happens in the first two flights. Yeah. Especially for, you know, considering we are targeting people who really has no experiences in flying drones before. Yeah. So if you're, you know, you know, if you're a beginner, you're a dummy, you just want to, you know, kind of get a hands on, you know, on the drone to get a really some high quality video footage. This is the choice, you know, this is definitely the option. This is the choice. And uh, we uh, because of that, because of this group of customer, yeah. they have no idea, you know, we're to you know like where to fly or they have no no idea about the safety environments you know they they do not have the necessary knowledge right so we decided to just you know if in that case we'll just do this like one year no hassle warranty you know, no matter how you do with the drone we're gonna take care of it that's amazing yeah. i've never heard anything like this before there's no like company there's absolutely no company doing this wow. before it also tells me that you're quite confident regarding your product. <laughs> yeah, we're also very confident about the quality. So I personally, I crashed the drone, you know, a few times before, and yeah. also from like 20 meters high. Yeah. It's still okay, you know, I changed the propeller, which has cost not much money. Right. I changed the propeller, I just, you know, like, you know, you know, get back to the sky again. So it's, it's really good, yeah. But you, when you look at this overall drone market, right, okay. and how it evolved, in the, especially in the last in three years, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is growing massively, isn't it? Yeah. So I think the near future, as you can see, I think, uh, you know, recently, um, I think pe people are definitely, you know, going to pay more and more attention to safety. So this is also something we are thinking about. So in order to be safer, in order to kind of to provide people, you know, customer with the better experiences, I think uh, one trend is definitely going to be smaller. Okay. But smaller without losing any, you know, quality of the videos. Yeah, yeah. Because now you can actually see from those, if you go to, if you go online, go to Amazon or eBay, right? You're gonna see tons of like 50 euro or 100 euro right. toy drones. Those are really small. But you're basically, you can't record anything quality. No, no, no. No, there's no gimbal. There's, it, you know, the image is sh it, it's shaky. It's not high quality. It's, and it, it's cheap, right? Yeah. So I think the, I think the, th I, I think the future is that you need to make drones smaller, like yeah. more portable. At the same time, you can't really sacrifice on the quality of the video, also the quality of the drone itself. So that's something really takes time, you know, yeah. to, 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 reser to research, to develop. Yeah. So this is one thing, yeah. The other thing will be smarter because previously, if you're going back to maybe 20 years ago, there was already this like RC hobby industry, right? So yeah. people, pilots using big controllers, yeah. fly those traditional RC planes all the time. So basically you're controlling every single movement. 
Right. So nowadays, uh, with the you know the drones getting smarter and smarter, so more sensors uh, in there. Exactly, more sensors. You know, you, you know, you have the gyro, you have the GPS. You know, and yeah. the drones knows how to come back aut automa you know, automatically mm -hmm. after when it's losing signal. Mm -hmm. There's like one button takeoff, one button land. But <laughs> in future, there's gonna even something more. Let's say there's like one button, you know, spinning around. The drone can just like spin around you yeah. with one button. You don't need yeah. to. You know, you don't need to learn how to do that. Basically, yeah. that's hard with the controller. But now, with the smartphone, you press one button, it's gonna spin around. You press another button, it's gonna maybe you know go to Pizza Hut and uh, just you know get your orders. I yeah. think that's possible in the in the long future. It's a very very cool project, and um, yeah, once again, yeah, I, I I really like the confidence that you have in this by saying yeah. you know what we give you. One year, no bullshit insurance, exactly. right? Uh, exactly. So whatever happens to you, yeah. that is amazing. And I think this is one of the most unique features that I've ever, ever heard. <laughs> because um, as you said, you know, a lot of people are crashing their drones. They're not familiar with how they're going to react in the yeah. air. And then they are kind of mixing up left with right and up and down. Exactly. It's constantly happening. So therefore, this looks amazing. If you guys want to check this out once again, um, let me take out. Oh, it's this one. Here we go. Oh. It's ehang.com. Dot com. Dot com. They're going to be available in Europe very, very soon. It's already available online. There you go. Yeah. You can already grab it. It's 998, one year of insurance that comes with this drone. And that's the full package. It comes with your goggles. With it comes with the camera, 4K camera. It's yes, all in there. Everything. Everything all together. There we go. Derek, yeah. thank you so much for showing this to us. Uh, we're going to have a little break of about uh, five to ten minutes. And um, yeah, then we're going to back with our last slot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Lentalis. So